Hello and welcome to another Microsoft 365 video. On today's episode, I will show you a brand new feature that just got released for SharePoint Online and that is the possibility to use section templates when creating new SharePoint pages. Authors of SharePoint pages in use will be able to access the new section templates from the plus menu where the sections for the pages were already available. So in this theme site that I already have here open in edit mode, I will show you how you can make use of the six new templates that just got available for SharePoint content creators. So, I will click in the plus button and now instead of only getting the default six sections, I also get a tab saying templates. And in here, I will find six templates combining the image web part with text using the same layout we have in the section. So basically what will happen when you select one of these six templates is that you will end up with a new section with the correspondent number of web parts. So let's see how it looks with this three column image and text. So when I click in here, a new section was created with three columns and inside of each one of the columns, I already have the image web part with the text web part ready for me to edit and add my own content. So let's quickly forward the video and let me show you how this looks like once I add content to this section. As you can see, adding the content with the images was super easy and the images get formatted in a way that they will not get stretched once the page get resized or is displayed in another screen resolution. So it perfectly fits the container where it sits, creating this beautiful layout. If you go to the image and click in the edit, you will be able then to change the image using the property pane as you would do with any other um, SharePoint web part and you will be able to continue to refine this uh, section adding more web parts. So in the end you can start with the predefined templates to create your content but if you want to refine it or if you have the need to add another web part you can easily do that by clicking in this plus button and accessing to the entire gallery of web parts. So now let's see how this looks like once it gets uh, saved and published and to do that i will first provide a name to the page and then hit the publish button so exactly what you have in the template section is now available in the page and it was super fast and super easy uh, to create. At the moment I'm recording this video, this feature is not yet available globally to all tenants worldwide. It's being gradually released for target released tenants and it is expected to be completed by the end of May. So if you don't see it yet in your tenant, it's just a matter of keep checking and this will become available for communication sites and also for team sites like the one I have in here. If you like the content of this video or if you want to know more about it, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to keep receiving videos like this one that will teach you how to take more out of SharePoint and Microsoft 365, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also click in the bell icon so you get notified every time I publish a video. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.